I think it's, this is really every child's nightmare, but we're now in a <laughs> spider lab with like living spiders everywhere. <laughs> Uruguayans deeply care about sandy beaches. Unfortunately, political and economic drivers are destroying them. But there are so many people here who are like working with all their passion and whole hearts to try to conserve these beaches. I had the honor to see what different conservation work is being done here in Rio de la Plata. And I will take you with me and show you all the different disciplines and passionate people who are trying their best to conserve this beautiful ecosystem. Yeah, this is the secret now, whether it is. Well, yeah, it's a secret in the sense that uh, now we need, we need to work on a multidisciplinary basis. So we are working now with economists, social scientists, oceanographers, uh, population dynamicists, and many more, uh, because this is critical just to develop, um, how you say, to um, forecast or to work based on the four pillars of sustainability. Driven researchers from the IIBCE Institute have a very special conservation approach. They work multidisciplinary. Here at the beach in Rio de la Plata, a water quality expert, insect researchers, biologists and others are all working together. They are taking sand samples, doing measurements and searching for small insects. All of this is done to get a holistic overview of the current state of the beach. Let's zoom in to one of the conservation perspectives in more detail, which looks at things differently, from a smaller and maybe more unexpected scale. Do you like uh, spiders? Spiders? Yeah. <laughs> so small. <laughs> no, not particularly. <laughs> ah, sí, no, las, <laughs> las arañas, no. Yes. We're looking at spiders. Spiders are biological indicators, a crucial tool for scientists assessing the health of an environment. These indicators are sensitive to changes in their surroundings. By observing how these species are affected, scientists gain valuable insights into the overall well being of the system. People don't know which uh, animals inhabit these beaches. Yes. Most people are completely ignorant to the importance of a small crab, mole crab, inhabiting in, in the sand. And it's just a small, small boy. He, he can do anything. <laughs> but there are such fundamental links at a trophic level, and that's why conservation of these uh, small creatures that most people don't know or, or maybe they think they're gross. Mm -hmm is important because without them, the whole ecosystem couldn't hold up, wouldn't be able to hold up. To really get that multi-perspective view, we also interviewed the topic of discussion themselves. How has your habitat on these sandy beaches changed over the years? If you could ask humans for help in preserving your habitats, what would you say? I think it was so special to see today that people from all different disciplines, from assessing water quality to cyanobacteria, spiders, that they all are working together and with their whole heart and passion, trying their best to conserve the beaches, trying their best to understand each other's perspectives to create solutions. I truly believe that we need everyone, every grain of sand and every perspective to create the best future for these sandy beaches.